And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen burnoff igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Harry, good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone. Two hurricanes, several technical issues, and two months later, NASA launched the Artemis I. Mission early Wednesday from its Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. And quat, F, or the Artemis Generation, this is for you. And quat, NASA's launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson said. As she gave the go ahead for liftoff at 0148 ET. NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS, the most powerful rocket in the world, has catapulted the uncrewed Orion capsule into space and embarked on a 26-day mission around the moon before returning to Earth. If Artemis 1 mission is successful, which would end with the Orion capsule splashing down in the Pacific Ocean on December 11, then Artemis 2 and 3 flights will follow. Artemis 2 is scheduled sometime in 2024. That mission will propel four astronauts around the moon. Then in 2025, Artemis 3 could include a return of humans back to the lunar surface. Asterisk 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 after three delays, NASA confirmed a new launch window for the space launch system, SLS, rocket, and uncrewed Orion spacecraft, for Wednesday morning. The Artemis 1 rocket launch was scrubbed in late August, read, here, and early September, read, here, due to a liquid hydrogen leak at an interface between the SLS and mobile launcher at the agency's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. NASA appears comfortable with the next launch attempt, with a two-hour window beginning at 0104 ET Wednesday.